Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad with a video tutorial on C program. So, in this tutorial, we're gonna see a string function called str error. So, this function is used to print out the error message associated with a error number. So, in the tutorial about the exit, you know, you might have remember we were passing a value of zero to that exit function, in indicating that you know the the program has terminated successfully. So for zero, there is a specific error message is there in the C, and similarly for one, two, three, four, five, you know, similarly for for all the error numbers, you know, there are uh, some specific error message, and this str error function is used to retrieve the error message associated with that error number. So we need to pass as a parameter the error number, and it's gonna return the message or the implementation defined string associated with the value of this error number so in, in this tutorial you know we're gonna see how we can use them and uh, also we're gonna see you know what are the error strings associated with some error numbers so to use this str error function in your program you need to include string dot touch header file okay now we're gonna see you know how we can use this function in our program so this is gonna be a very short program we have written and also you know just for the demonstration purpose I just wanna show you you know the error messages associated with the error numbers so for that purpose I'm gonna use a printf function and uh, we're gonna call that str error function here and we need to pass the error number so we're gonna pass the error number of 0 so I'm gonna save this execute compile and run it says no error so when we pass a value of 0 or the error number 0 indicates that no error so now if I close this and change this one to 1 and uh, compile and run this you can see operation not permitted so similarly there are a lot of error numbers and uh, you know the error messages or the strings associated with them you can retrieve all those error messages associated with the error numbers using this str error function so for this error number 2 it says no such file or directory so this is it guys this is about the str error function which is used to get the string form of the error associated with the error numbers thank you guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have any doubt don't hesitate to put a comment in the video and also like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and become a fan of learning lad i'll see you in the next tutorial